CCIG Tigers up against the Samurai International. I don't know much about the CCIG Tigers. They went all right against the Fijian team earlier on. But, yeah. um, oh, and that's penalty straight away. I think um, from my point of view, the card straight away. Samurai were the, um, the most convincing team to date in the tournament. They uh, yeah. played with plenty of control. And, uh, like and you were saying earlier on, they play, they play together regularly, don't they? So. Not the best start for the CCIG boys, down to nine players after about 20 seconds, maybe 10 seconds actually. Yeah, they've, uh, the coach will be pulling his hair out down there. Damien Rice coach won't because he hasn't got any, but, um, but the, the, yeah, the CCIG boy will be. Good control ball off the top from Samurai. First points on the board, uh, Samurai. It's, uh, no, the uh, Samurai uniforms are very difficult to discern. So uh, I, they, they may be letters. They are. They are letters, yeah, but, but they're quite difficult to uh, yes to pick up, especially from this distance. But uh, nice, nice move work down the sideline there. Yep. And I think it uh, reveals to us that it was Amoni Narawa. Who uh, scored the uh, the opening try of this match? And, Classic uh, Wallabies have been a bit of a revelation. Well, they have. They've uh, they've been a bit of a turn up. They uh, they've got a blend of um, they've got a few big tanks up there, but um, there's some quick sharp uh, young kids uh, out of the seventh circuit. I think that are um, that are actually scoring them the points. Camera go high. Just, oh, uh, that was just a little bit too easy. Just about unlucky. I think I think the guy that went off for the kickoff was actually claiming he was hit before he hit the ground. I think he may well have been played yeah. in the air too. The uh, the referee doesn't agree. The uh, the Tigers players are just having that discussion with him now. He um, he he begs to disagree. So uh, and as we all know, the uh, the referee's decision is fine. So quickly out to a 14-0 lead, Samurai over there. CCIG Tigers. Yeah, I can see that Tom Warren's is H. I can recognise the H out here. So, as you say, the, the big um, ch chap with the strawberry blonde hair is H. Tom Warren's. Yeah. yeah, well, we've uh, they've gone for the very Asian uh, look, but it just uh, doesn't help the commentators. Tigers yeah, bursting down that there. Tigers. I thought they knocked him on, but still got it. Good to see them with some ball anyway. Yeah, a little misunderstanding there. Not knowing the lines they're running. Same position though, all importantly. Oh, there's a clear overlap here. Can they move it into space? That's a big fan. Yes, Big don't argue, that's for sure. Tiger's doing well to control this through uh, multiple phases. Not managing to break a dent in this defence though. Oh, I love that play. Press down the sideline. Oh, just into touch. Very unfortunate. Uh, Kitsioni uh, Taliga from uh, the Tigers. Just Barely inches in touch there. Sport inside too. May have been better to pass. Keep the ball alive. Referee's assistant right on the spot there. Very 
very deliberate throw in there. We seem to wait. Good, good, con good contest in there, actually. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and, and, and sorry, Terry, that penalty's the wrong way. Yeah, uh, well, the, you know, the, the referees call for the guys to roll away from the ball, and the, the last guy that placed it back was actually on the ground playing the ball on the ground. He wasn't the guy that uh, caught the ball in the air, so I can I can understand <laughs> the referees. Uh, I, I, I just rolled in. They, 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 they're in their side, but they're okay. But the. Uh, All the confrontations and breakdowns very well contested between most of the teams in this tournament. Clearly taken at the front. Oh. Referee's finding displeasure in something there. Stern words, having a chat with his assistant on the sideline. He's reaching for his pocket. This isn't good signs for um, Samurai. Unfortunately, no signal from the referee, so we're still at a loss to understand. Um, okay, so he's pulled a player off the ball. Interesting, uh, that's a yellow card infringement so early in the match. It's not a... A repeated infringement. It's um, it didn't seem like foul play, but um, the the referee's made his decision. So uh, three minutes for nine players. Uh, we'll just wake them up. That could have been an interesting bust up in the middle. Not able to grasp the ball. But th this Tigers team, they, 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 they show they've been good carriers of the ball, Terry, but with the extra money, they've got to make something of this. They've got well, they two do and a half minutes now just to get themselves back in the game. Yeah, because they won't get many uh, opportunities against the Samurai side. They uh, their, um, their first match earlier in the day, um, the Samurai uh, side was very efficient in, um, in dispatching the uh, East Africans, and the East Africans have just showed uh, they can be quite competitive. Having just played against the Fijians, they just they just under pressure. They were just their passing was just letting them down slightly. Yeah. A good team. Yeah. Good, good team. The Fijians are difficult to gauge. They are. I mean, one minute you think they're exhausted, the next yeah. minute uh, yeah. they're uh, they're foxing and they yeah. uh, come up with an eighty metre burst. So I think tomorrow it's going to be it's been an interesting thing to watch when they hit the top teams. Yeah. What you find too is a few of the guys in their team uh, that are um, that have got a few years on the clock there. Yeah. Um, there's a 40 year old in the Fiji team there's not many of the teams to be sporting uh, someone that old oh and for the clever uh, reverse pass not <coughs> coming off referee playing advantage for the knock on which will be over shortly yeah, they've, oh. they've got to have a chance to go wide here Terry they have this is the big ball carrier again Good he's got through a power of work already right? Tigers and streaking off of the ball for Tigers number 10 and that ball looked to have gone forward in the uh, in the tackle there. Just, and it just didn't bounce for them, did it? Yeah. Didn't bounce for them. They basically so, had two men supporting the runner and he just didn't get it done. Kidioni Taligo was very, very close to unlocking the door there. A uh, deep kick. The, uh, the Samurai chasers measures. They're holding the defensive line, which is all important. Well fielded there by uh, Narohi Magavi, wearing letter Z on his back. Again, the uh, Samurai quite uh, quite content to kick the ball away and uh, give the uh, Tigers possession, which uh, might come back to bite them here. Yeah? Look, surely this is on here. It's Manny, the side support. The ball goes into the hands of Kitioni Taliga, and he goes in virtually unopposed. 15 metres in from the touch, right hand side of the post. Uh, oh, make the conversion, Ted, back to one score. Yeah. Very interesting how um, how willing the um, Samurai were to kick the ball away there and give it back to the uh, to the Tigers. They um, and they didn't really that second kick. They didn't have the chase. They didn't post the flat line defence in the middle of the field. So 
It was a big broken expanse for the uh, Tigers uh, counter-attackers to run into. That kind of kick, you think they're back in the defence, you think they're going to come to lie, they think they'll do, and instead, maybe it was just a, maybe it was just tired, mate, you forget. Well, 30 so. seconds left in the half, the, the teams are getting tired, but that, that sort of kick you, you would generally kick when you know you've got your fast chaser after the ball, they didn't appear to have any chases there, which uh, made it a bit of a, uh, a pointless kick and then giving away possession. That's it. Try scorer off having a rest. He's been very, very involved in the game. Yeah. Then we're back in position. A whole lot easier to play this game if you've got the ball rather than chasing. Okay, numbers on the left. And got Matt Garland weaving in and out, dancing. He possibly should have passed. Ports in hand. And that was a, great, great support running. Across, great the, across the line goes Litter V, who is Prior Collier, I believe. Got to say, you know, he's the, um, the Tigers worked so hard for the drive, but then that there was just, I mean, after the initial break, it just looked inevitable. Yeah, the, the, the lines that were running, the speed of the ball. Yes, right. and, and with the you know with half time up on the board too, if the Tigers could have held out there, it would have meant a, a very different picture. Um, now they're they're faced with 19, maybe 21, five at half time, as opposed to 14, five. Well, the kick is successful, so. Um, uh, after this, you'll be joined. You'll be joined by. Good day over here, so you'll be, you'll be two of your silky skill backs to talk through the game. Well, who's going to talk about what the concrete mixers do up the front there? <laughs> yeah, no, it's, um, you know, tens is a game where backs play like forwards and forwards play like backs, and, yeah. and you you have to lend your uh, hand to whatever's uh, whatever's in front of you. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's like, I know uh, you even watch good 15 rugby, rug, rugby. The best jackals are sometimes the centres. You know, you can just get out and get it about and get over the ball. Um, but and it's all about timing. I mean, they've all, they're all coached in those skills these days, so it's just getting there ahead, about, ahead of the second uh, defender to um, get over the ball in secure position. So uh, once that second defender's there, you're, um, you've got no show. So, got looking forward, just we have time break, Terry. Looking forward to Japan. What sort of shape do you think New Zealand are in? So, it's a long way off. It's, um, you know, they've got um, a fair bit of rugby uh, to be played with the Super Rugby competition, all their players involved in that. So, you know, they try to rest some of the players and give them a break, but um, generally that competition is going to yield three or four significant injuries in, in any any season. You just never quite know who they're um, who they're going to affect. So it's. Um, I think, there's still, I think there's still space for somebody to come out of the pack and make the team, or do you think the, oh, the team's too established now? Uh, well, I think I think what they've done in the last few years is, is make a good job of increasing the breadth. So they've introduced players. They haven't waited for uh, players to retire and get injured to introduce the new talent. They've, they've been bringing guys on stream progressively. So, um, you, know, you know, there's always arguments about whether they choose the right guys, but this, you know, Certain positions they've they've developed some some good depth. I mean, uh, open side loose forwards. They're, um, they're looking a lot of countries would take the choices they've got. I mean, you'd have thought. I don't know. I think you think Bowden balance are sure. And then you look at that young man, that young guy. I mean, I got, I mean I Richie Bowden. Yeah, yeah he's he plays with control in a, in a different side that plays yeah. a, a different style of yeah. game. And uh, but and you, you saw the two the two teams played last week in the and the Crusaders with their control and. Uh, yeah. They dominated the Hurricanes. Um, Bowden's Barrett's, you know, his flair and his um, his blistering pace didn't really come to play as much because he was behind a beaten forward pack and he, he wasn't getting good ball. And, so. and he seemed to be trying to play a more of a control game, which I don't know if it's Bowden. You know, you want these outside breaks, don't you? You want the gas. And, then yeah, but, you know, a lot of it's dependent, as I say, on, on the ball they get and, and the way the pack in front of them performs. So, um, it's, you know... It's won and lost up front, uh, yeah. they say, but um, yeah, the backs certainly have an influence. But if you haven't got any ball, it's a whole lot harder to uh, defend all game than it is to yeah. attack all game. I think the one thing I'll say, Six Nations, some of the some of the elements. I think it's going to be a great World Cup. Well, it's it's just proven that um, yeah. there's a lot of teams there that can potentially win. We don't have to worry about it being a, a one or two horse contest. There's uh, there's lots of uh, contenders.
Tagos, ten minutes. What do you reckon? Well, I mean, they, yeah, they would have loved to have got away with a quick tap there, but just referee ruling, they've got to take it behind the mark where the penalty was awarded. So uh, they'll go to the line out, reset, and um, and build. So, um, they've got to score three times to win this match. That's the that's the real difficulty. Sixteen points means at least three tries. So it's um. You know, I don't know that anyone scored three tries against Samurai today, or, or for a few years, maybe. When they come to this Hong Kong Football Club teams, I never think they quite understand how hard it's going to be the first tournament they ever turn up at. This is the first time this team's been here. I mean, I think the Water Boys team, you can see, they've been three years now, and they're starting to realise what they need to bring they're putting to be competitive. To, yeah. yeah, they're putting into play the lessons they've learned yeah. in the last couple of years. So, it's, you know... It's a, it's a real cool thing to do to come to Hong Kong for a two-day rugby tournament. But uh, you know, if you've never been here before, there's a lot of gee whiz about it. And uh, <laughs> you know, getting the getting the focus back on the game can be difficult. But uh, Tigers are uh, that was a big aggressively seal. going forward now. They could see you later, uh, and they just need to retain possession, keep working the defence, and, and wait for an opportunity. And the ones there isn't. Go on. Busting up the middle. He gets a quick ball here, Terry. This is on left. Oh, there's space on the outside, and maybe not so much now. Fight. Fighting well to stay away from that touchline. And they want to clear it. Straight lines, running, commit the defenders, and use the space out wide. Ball here. Okay, the big man can only see a hole in front. And he's gone and he saw a the try. He saw a hole. He filled it with the ball. The big man, Harry Higgins, is over. No, it's not Harry Higgins. It's, it's Louis Luamanu. Harry Higgins well in support there. The, uh, the two tight boys working in tandem. But uh, it was Louis Luamanu came up with a uh, with a five pointer Out. and oh the kick is off That's the awesome. off the upright that doesn't help their cause at all so but got to say, this has got to be good for samurai because last year terry they had an easy first day and then the second day they just slipped up maybe they just can't add the level of competition it's oh. a hard game for them and and it may explain the way they're playing there they're efficient they're you know they're using the whole team they're rotating their bench well so you know again learning lessons from the previous year yeah, the ball didn't kick off didn't go 10 meters but the samurai chose to uh, play the ball in the air so that at that point it's game on and uh, unfortunately the samurai player knocked the ball on trying to field it but, uh, they want, they've, they've been a bit lucky with the weather terry it's cooled down yeah. it was going to be really hot this morning oh, i think this is perfect weather for rugby Sure, it's perfect weather for watching it. It's a great for commentating. I mean, it's done nice and cool here. Yeah. Just the only thing missing is a nice cold beer. I was going to say, I'm not sure about football clubs' ref refreshment policy for the commentators, yeah. but... Okay, and we see a big scrum from Samurai there driving the um, the Tigers' pack off the ball. And, um, yeah, you can see there's uh, there's plenty of size there, and they dominated that scrum. The Jim and I were just talking about the scrum in the modern game. Now, question we asked Terry... When the scrum goes down in a game of scrum, would you stop the clock? Um, in the last five minutes, maybe. Um, you know, if you stop the clock, all the game, right you end up the 15 game minutes longer. Become, becomes it becomes like American football. That lasts about four hours, doesn't it? I just you've just got to encourage. I mean, definitely the last five minutes, but you just want to keep the game going. What is great now is when the ball's out the back, the referee makes you play it. Yeah, even if it's got well, that's right. I mean, because. You know, every scrum you uh, repack, you risk it going down, and then you potentially risk injuries. And so, once the ball's there, just get on and use it. There's a uh, variance of opinion between people who think the scrum is a way to restart play, uh, as opposed to some who think it's a rugby art form in its purest sense. I so, think it's been between, numbers between one and eight have got one opinion. Yes. And 10 to 15 and other, the nine's never quite sure, I don't think. No. Yes, meanwhile, back to the action. Samurai hot on attack. Tackler's not rolling away, playing the ball on the ground. So quickly taken. Got space here. And in the corner, we have a try for Samurai. Referee wants to consult with his touch judge. I think he maybe dropped it, but I think he got it. Timo Sophia has gone in. He slammed it down pretty hard. The referee just wanted to make sure he hadn't dropped it. So... 
I think it was more a, uh, a very solid plant that made the ball yeah. bounce, yeah. I think Tigers were looking tired there, by the way. Yeah. So in the top, there was a gap in the outside. As the scoreline gaps to the tidy again, it's uh, four and a half minutes to go with the scoreline at 16 points, maybe maybe 18 if, uh, if Darrow McGarvey can kick this and oh, Lovely kick, but just uh, eases away from the right hand upright. So 16 point gap, Samurai head. 26-10. That old rugby classic YMCA coming over the speakers here. Good contest in the air. Big PJ Banzell coming off for Tigers there. He's in a big game. Carried a lot yeah. of ball. Yeah, you'd have to say Samurai are looking uh, are looking strong, but um, yeah, they've uh, 2016. They've conceded two tries in this match, so um, and they're not uh, they're not bulletproof by any means. Nobody's looking. I'll actually tell you. I mean, they're all. I mean, obviously, I'm going to be I'm going to be rooting for Project Water Boys. I think it's really good to see it. We're, 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 we're noticing a, uh, a gentle leaning towards the, uh, the well, their, their prospects. Well, if I'm quite honest, I've given up the Scottish oh, Exiles because they've maybe they've had a couple of hard ones today. Yeah. But the Project Water Boys, I mean, and, and the, as I say to you, they're the easiest team to comment on. They're all called Doddy. <laughs> My name is Doddy across yeah. the front of every shot. Okay, little little envy oh, there in their outfits. You um, oh, secretly have a passion to uh, get out there in one of those. Oh, I'd like I'd like one of these trips. I was no. going to say, Terry, you know what you were saying about about the scrum. That was, that was the scrum as an offensive weapon. That was a dominant scrum from Samurai, and Tom Florence was the beneficiary as they rolled the Tigers' pack right back off the ball. He picked up the scraps and ran 25 metres to score a good try in the corner. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, not much fun if you're in a pack going backwards like that, because you're never going to end up on top. <laughs> when, 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 when the bike starts racing back on you, I'll tell you, it's yeah. no fun. It's no fun whatsoever, I mean... Um, in, in my time, I've found myself overmatched with a tight head, and it's it's not nice when he decides which way I should be going. Oh, I mean, they, uh, it's a lovely conversion there. Oh, just short. Beautiful line. Just falls under the crossbar. Talking about that outfit, you will, will soon be joined by Goody, but there is that Project Water Boys. It, it, it does look like they're wearing a 1 0, he doesn't do. Where they are, but yeah. But ideal top. But okay. that's not gone at 10. Okay, they choose to play it in the air, though. And then play on. No. Touch judge has his flag up. Sorry, referee's assistant these days. Hey, I'll go through what comes touch judge. Yeah. Most people understand that too. Yeah. Well, I was, I was sitting over with Stuart Saunders earlier on. He says he, had, he wasn't back 10 yards. And I said, no, he definitely wasn't. He said, yeah. <laughs> 10 yards for a long while. Okay, uh, Tigers faced with the prospect of having to pack down again, having been demolished in the last scrum. They'll be wanting to get this ball in and out very I think, quickly. I think he should just throw it at 50 degrees to the right. Through his right. The, 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 the referees allow you to feed your, your side of the scrum these days, but he should... Uh, very right strange. In. You can take one pace to the side. Very strange, actually. About getting the uh, well done. ball moving. So, ball in space. Tigers looking for an opportunity to peg back that uh, 21 point deficit. Yeah. Yeah. Just uh, good defence though. Uh, Samurai just guiding those attackers across the field till they've basically ran out of space, and that's where the sideline becomes your extra defender in your team. You it's really pretty solid across the back. To that second day, they've got the teams that can push them. Oh, nice and best, but that's class. Yeah, pulling out some good tricks here. Then Capelli pops a little nudge into the middle of the field. Expertly <laughs> timed, and the try to Matt Garland by the looks of things. But lovely piece of work there with Zane Capelli down the outside. Seeing the support, looming up on the inside, not being able to get the pass there. Pops a little chip kick over the top. And the uh, cover defence had uh, overrun. 
Leaving all the samurai up the middle there. There was, there was a choice of three there for that one. I so. thought there was actually four. I was counting. <laughs> Generally, when you watch that, it's a coverage. One of them knocks it on. You know, yeah. it's such a Zane Capelli adds the extras, and it's and a very convincing win to Samurai 38 10. Nope. We have a, we have an ex professional rugby player can so we'll leave you with two backs, ladies and gentlemen. It's rather unfortunate, but here you go, Mr. Good, thank you. So uh, ladies and gentlemen, we welcome Andy Good back to the commentary box. Um uh, just uh, had a brief break and uh, we'll get the uh, the line up for the next match. So the next match sees the Scottish sorry, the Project Waterboy. Yeah, next match is the Project's Waterboys against the Devil's Own Shanghai Silver Dragons.